making a video. I don't know what kind of video it is, maybe just a demonstration of some type. I just um, felt compelled to make a video. I've seen a lot of these on YouTube and I thought to myself that would be that would be pretty cool to try something like that. So here I am. <laughs> now um, a lot of the material that I'm using right now are stuff that I found in a 99 cent store like this canvas I got for three dollars these paints here that you look or that you see are are hand-me-downs they're all recycled stuff so yeah that's pretty much what I'm using right now um, I don't have a big fancy studio or anything like that <laughs> I'm very limited on funds right now very limited on resources the only thing that's keeping me going going right now is the is the uh, 99 cent store because they have these canvases and um, not very good canvases but they'll work I mean shoot for three dollars a piece can't beat it but anyway I'm a abstract artist um, self-taught I've been doing this my whole life um, well actually not abstract arts um, I did a lot of charcoal works in the past so yeah <laughs> this is me where I'm at now with my art um, I like doing square shapes Square shapes are fun, I think. But you can use the same technique on pretty much anything, really. Or any kind of shape. If you like circles, you can use circles. If you like other shape, uh, geometric shapes and stuff like that, you can use that. It is no problem. But what I like to do is just saturate my canvas with water or with color like this like so I'm using ceramic paints these are hand-me-down stuff <laughs> stuff that I found like I said I'm a very tight budget and the reason why I'm on um, I am on a tight budget is because I live in a homeless shelter just right next door over here is the is a men's dorm where a lot of the uh, others stay. Me, the reason why I'm not in a dorm with them is because I am in a program right now that helps me to get back on my feet, so to speak. So, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> I'm in a back room right now, actually in my dorm, filming this thing. Just trying my best to make something. I saw some very cool, interesting YouTube videos, and I thought to myself, that, that would be sweet to do something like that. And I actually put up a flyer at my school, at the campus, for somebody to, to help me make a video. And it's been out for a week, and I got no responses. So, <laughs> so today, I actually bought this camera and said, Mike, I, let's try to do it ourselves. So here I am. My name is Michael Luciano, and this is my art. Now, I'm sure a lot of you that are watching or are going to watch this or will be watching this are artists themselves. So, from one artist to another, I just want to encourage you to don't stop what you're doing just keep doing what you're doing no matter how odd or or what stages you are what levels you are your ability level you are in your art just don't quit don't quit doing it I was a cartoonist at one time I did political cartoons and 
I did action figures. I did a lot of portraits, a lot of realism. Stuff like that. But what I found with that is that there's a lot of people doing it. A lot of people into that kind of art. And really good at it. <laughs> and there's a lot of people that are into abstracts so that will blow me out of the water. <laughs> but I don't let that discourage me. Not one bit. I try to be what I am. I try to be uh, original. I try to be, I don't know about innovative because <laughs> it's already been done. I'm just trying to keep my dream alive. And I'm just hoping that this video will help me. Maybe uh, create create some kind of a fan base for me to to have something to fall back on when I get out of this place. Now, I will admit I was homeless at one time, or still am actually. I should say um, I don't have. I've never been married, don't have any kids, don't have anything like that. But, um, yeah, I've been alone most of my life. Um, not too long ago, I found myself struggling with certain things. Um, addiction. And, um, I felt like there was no way out of it. I really did. And, yeah, I think that's what this art kind of represents, is the struggle. I mean, it may look... Um, yeah, it looks confusing because it is. It's very confusing. When you're dealing with certain issues and you don't know who you are, it is very confusing. So, my uh, art is a reflection of that. Trying to make sense of the, of the situation. And trying to make the best of it, which I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> But yeah, when I was younger, I used to love Bob Ross. Bob Ross was my, he was my guy, my, my hero. He really was. He still is, actually. To me, he represents what art should be. Fun, relaxing, not intense. <laughs> I met a lot of great artists in my life, but it's just unfortunate that some of the artists that I've met were had addiction problems, and unfortunately, some of them, some of those people that I knew didn't make it out of it, and um, it's a shame, really. It really is a shame because if they would have stuck it out, they would have probably became somebody or something. But right, uh, right now, I'm just kind of putting down paint, as you can see. <laughs> just kind of put it down real nice. Well, not nice, but just in my bizarre way. May not look like may not look like anything right now, but believe me, it'll turn into something. Sorry about my mumbling. It's how I talk. Sometimes when I'm talking to people, they just look at me like, "What? What you just say?" And I know I make sense. I mean, to myself, but other people see say you mumble too much. <laughs> I sound like Hunter S. Thompson. Well, but that's okay. But yeah, I like to let the paint dry a little bit. Then go just keep going over, overlapping, overlapping, overlapping. And it will eventually turn into something. And that's the thing about artwork is you can't give up on it. You never give up on your art. Just keep working at it, working at it, working at it. 
eventually it'll start looking like something. Well, that's just me speaking for myself, I guess. But I'm just trying to encourage whoever's watching this to never give up. But I like that when it bleeds like that, it's cool. You can do so much cool things with watercolor when it does that. But I, I let it do that. I just let it do whatever it wants. Because that's where that natural feel comes in. When somebody looks at it, they, they really wonder about that. As you can see, I'm just really using a lot of water. This is ceramic paint. I think I just mentioned that. But yeah, this is ceramic paints. That's what I like to just use whatever I got. I use watercolors, acrylics, whatever works. As you can see, it's just kind of like random chaotic stuff. It's because I it's how I feel inside. And that's what art should be. It's, it's an expression of how you feel. That's why I love abstracts. It just it's a way to express yourself. You don't necessarily have to make sense to anybody. It's just a form of release. Some people like to go skiing or drag racing. Some people like to go for long walks. Me, I love to paint. I wasn't always into abstracts, like I said. I was a cartoonist at one time. I loved doing cartoons. I'm still very good at it, actually. But for me, uh, abstracts just really hits the spot. I mean, it just really satisfies. And it should. That's what art's about. But sometimes I get into that mood where I'm not satisfied. I'll be done with the piece. And I want more. And sometimes I'll be in this mode for sometimes days, sometimes even weeks on end, I'll be doing this. Now, what I've done in the past is I sold these artworks on the, on the sidewalks in the public. And they actually sell. It's pretty, pretty cool. Got a lot of good feedback about my stuff. People really like it. I was getting to know the art of self-promotion, but due to some personal problems that I encountered, I found out the hard way that I cannot be trusted. I couldn't trust myself with, with uh, success because, well, I don't want to get into it. But yeah, I had my reasons. <laughs> anyway, just letting the water do the do its work here. I like using red. Red's a very cool color. And not only that, but it's the only color I have. <laughs> All these paints here are pretty much dusted. These are from the 99 cent store. But yeah, I just keep doing this. I just keep painting. Little black dark spot over here. Let it dry. Come back over here. Tonight is movie night at the homeless shelter where I'm staying at. That's why it's so quiet. Usually it's it's pretty chaotic here. But tonight I'm lucky and that's why I'm making my video some opp opportunity. And I thought hmm, now would be a very good time to make that video. Or try it out at least. I just hope I don't get interrupted. Oops. Knocking things around over here. And you. Just keep doing that. Just keep. Let it dry a little bit. This room is hot in here, so it's drying pretty quick. But I like to leave parts like this light. I don't like to necessarily get it all dark. It gives it some depth. Okay. 
I don't have an Ezel, so I have to work with what I got. I don't even have room for any, uh, an Ezel, actually. <laughs> I gotta do, I gotta work with what I got, which is this table. That's it. So, bear with me. But as you can see, it's turning into something. And just by that simple method, just keep overla overlapping like this, like that. Boom, pretty soon you got something that looks pretty cool, a one of a kind. Now, like I said, I've done demonstrations for people and they, they always tell me, you make it look easy. <laughs> I guess it is, but it would be nice to see others try to to do this technique that I'm doing now I live in the southwest and it just seems like southwest art is everywhere well yeah because I live in the southwest <laughs> but my point is <laughs> is that it's just been done to death in my opinion and me myself being Native American, um, I want to be, I want to make a name for myself with abstract art. Because, like I said, everything else has been done to death. I mean, there's so many pictures of horses, so many pictures of mesas and valleys and stuff like that. So many pictures of cowboys. And, I mean, people love it, but me, myself, being an artist, no. I just, when I first started doing abstract art, this kind of art, I just fell in love with it. And I've just been running with it ever since. It's just really fun to do, really cool stuff. And this is what I do, I just keep adding to it. Adding, adding, adding. And when people stand and stand and look at my art for a while and they try to comprehend what it is or try to make it up what's in their head, I love that. <laughs> Hello to baffle them. And then they look at me like, you did this? I'm like, yeah, so I did. But my point in this whole video is that if you have talent, just go with it. Just be free with it and just dream big. There's nothing wrong with using your talent to make a life for yourself. That's the whole objective of this video is just to kind of reach out to other artists. You don't have to be the greatest. You just gotta, you just gotta get out there. And not be afraid of what people think or what people say. And chances are you just might run into something really good. I know I have. I mean, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for putting myself out there. Even though I made a lot of bad mistakes in my life, um, I've learned from them and now I'm trying to, uh, or I am, trying to fix it the best I can. And art, for me, is a good way to do that. Because it's me. It's the only thing that I got going for me. And for a lot of you artists out there. And if you feel, if you feel that is true, be that's be, that is because it is it is true it's you have to believe in yourself and believe in what you do but anyway you can see where I'm going with this I'm just keep adding to it overlapping overlapping I wish I had more colors to demonstrate but maybe next time on another video I can come up with some more colors so I can demonstrate to you all some some more colorful stuff. 
but there it is. It's just really simple, basic. You can be adding to it. If I had more colors, I would. Let me add to it even more to show you guys. But um, there's that. I'll let that dry. But there's stuff like this. This is one I finished earlier today. These are a little bit bigger ones. A, little bit, a bit bigger. As you can see, these are five dollars, these canvases. Just a black and white one. It's the same technique, just overlapping. There's another one. This one's all uh, watercolor, as you can see. It's got a little bit of acrylic inside of it. This is the same. This is just like that one. This is ceramic paint with uh, with watercolor in it. Oh, that one actually looks pretty cool. I do these a lot. I do a lot of them. So <laughs> sorry about the audio too, and I'm sorry for mumbling. But yeah. Oops, I should read this one. That's my name, Michael Luciano. I had a whole lot of these, a bunch, but I gave a lot of them away for birthdays and gifts. People like them. Pretty cool. That's how they look when they're done. Anyway, if you guys want, if you guys like this, please um, give me a like on my on my channel or video or whatever, and I'll try to have more material in the future for you guys. Thank you, and God bless.